Hi, Ed I here. Welcome to my lab laboratory where questions, understanding, and mind expansion are number one priority. I've been a chef for 30 years and the last seven years I've seen a huge rise in food allergies, especially gluten. You know, and I saw some a friend of mine, she uh, cut out gluten. She wasn't uh, allergic or anything like that. She just cut it out and lost a bunch of weight. She looks really good now. So, you know, in my quest to lose weight and to live to be 121, I might thought I might do the same thing, start cutting out, cutting out gluten. You know, it's kind of like meat. I can cut back, but I don't know if I can ever actually cut it out all the way. Well, I'm doing pretty good with some other things. But in my effort to, um, to cut back on gluten, I found this product here. The Oro Wheat, Wheat Fins. They're little fins. Whole wheats, you know, they're, they're got the Weight Watchers seal of approval there. Um, they're 100% whole wheat. They have all this. They're only uh, zero fat, 100 calories, two grams of sugar, which that's great. All oh, that's great, you know. So I thought I'd start eating these, and you know that way I could be a little bit healthier. So I ate them for a few months, and then I went and went off for a month. And a strange occurrence had when I come back for a month, and these were on top of my refrigerator. So I bought a pack. I bought, I bought another pack. I bought this pack here. I bought that's right after Thanksgiving, 2014. I bought these in June, 2014. Just now opening. They've been sitting on the counter in my commercial kitchen for a while. Now they've been sitting by my refrigerator over there. And look at there. No mold. They're still all soft. Let's see. They taste just fine. Although I won't be eating. So, can something that sit on your table, counter, whatever, be good after months and months? I make my own bread. I make it with organic wheat, spring water, yeast, sea salt. That's basically it, you know, besides some nuts or something like that. I don't put sugar in it or anything like that. So, and my bread turns to be black and blue and fuzzy after a week or, or so. Check this out. Here you have water, yeast, wheat bran, sugar. Why would something touted by the Weight Watchers that doesn't need sugar have sugar in it? My bread is great, and I don't use any sugar. Then after that comes gluten polydextrose. That's an insoluble fiber. That means it doesn't dissolve. You know, could some of this stuff and the rest of it, look right here, Right there, see there, that's where the natural ingredients stop. All this is chemicals. So, you know, could that not get stuck maybe somewhere in your, you know, some small, minute, microscopic parts get stuck in your intestines? Couldn't that, and then your body, in an effort to fight it, send you know, antibodies or whatever to try to figure out what it is, but it just stays there and festers. And then couldn't that where a lot of sickness come from? A lot of obesity, a lot of, um, you know, diabetes, cancers. You need to look at what they're selling you. Read the labels. Eat local, organic. This stuff is what's killing America. We're being told a lie. 